Lincoln is a software company. For language enhancement, I have found that it's only the grammar. Grammar is just 2009 and this is 2007. But I found out that even older than Grammarly and I found out that its logo is just similar to Grammarly. I think it's because Grammarly um, get a little bit idea in this from Ginger Software about but we should not look at its logo but we are going to have a look at its accuracy. Why you do not need to care about this? This is uh, well kind of a picture that I draw when I'm small. So anyway, it doesn't matter. We are just going to have a look. We are going to copy and paste the text here. There is a total of 28 mistakes in this text. This is originally Grammarly versus Providing 8 Review. And this should be Grammarly versus Providing 8 Review 2. However, I'm going to apply the same text to Ginger to see whether Ginger is better. Well, Originally, I thought Ginger is just a normal, well, spelling grammar checker just like Microsoft Word. However, I found that it's not. It's really correct in everything as I'm writing. It's just like Grammarly. Sometimes its accuracy is even better than Grammarly. However, I'm thinking that Prime 8 is not as good as Ginger and Grammarly because Ginger and Grammarly really checks very advanced issues while Prime 8 is only checking. Well, what I mean by advanced issues is that this grammar structure is very difficult to identify and if the AI by the connection is value load, well this one um, is post positive because I already capitalized it. However, this is not our test, not in our test, so we are just focusing on question 1 to 28 and see what is its accuracy. Um, anyway, it catches it, but it's not the case. Alright, so let's see, the mother, this should be hello or welcome, so if it's wrong, I will be highlighting it and underlining it. And the future island is going to speed up the process a bit because otherwise it's too slow and you need to sit on a chair facing the screen for more than an hour. So that's why I'm going to speed it up and yeah, if you really want to look at the grammar issue why it's wrong you may pause the video and just have a look what's wrong but I'm going to speed it up Alright, the test is completed and now let's count the total misses of well of ginger and see if we can manage uh 80%, which is an impressive result for 80%. However, let's see if we can do one well, pass rate is 50%. Let's see how many mistakes. It made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
Alright, so the percentage is quite impressive, 64.42%, although it's not 80%, but at least it's a little bit close to Gramly. It Gramly catches 67%. If I do not re remember wrongly, you just need to check out my about my, my other videos. However, it does not seem to have any problems here, and the percentage 64.42%, which is very impressive. It manages pass, it's more than a pass. Unfortunately, it's just a normal proofreading software, and when, when my friends all right, recommend it, however, I found out that it's not. It's really advanced, and it can catch some very. some mistakes that providing it can't catch. Why I say is that there are five grammar issues is because. Well, I'm going to run through the mistakes it has made to you. This one should be hello and welcome instead of hello or welcome. This one should be skills instead of skill. And this one, yeah, it's spelled wrongly, but it does not correctly point out how to spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Right, it should. And this one should be. Do you feel this one interesting? Junior asked me to change. You have been to Japan. However, what I would suggest it should be: Have you been to Japan instead of you have been to Japan? Because it's not very grammatically correct. And question twenty one. Uh, no problem. Question twenty two. Yeah, it should be: Are you from England instead of you from England? 25, it should be, I live near Paris instead of next to Paris. Which in 26, it should be, yes, it's not, yes, uh, it should be, yes, it is instead of it. This one should be, who is staying instead of who are, because who is a singular pronoun. This one, um, we should not add in, because we have the relative pronoun where, if you want to say the preposition in, you need to say, this is the house in which my grandmother and grandfather live or maybe you say this is the house in i mean this is the house which my grandmother and grandfather live in so but however this is um where instead of which so therefore i'm not going to then that it's a correct issue so nevertheless i think ginger is quite a good software it does not have too many mistakes not many false positives uh, just an incorrect suggestion here, right? You have been to Japan, and other of them is a correct suggestion. So, and there aren't any false positives either. So it's quite good for Ginger. It's an impressive result. And well, this is the end of this video. Please put a like if you do, and remember to subscribe. Just the red button right under the video, and click the bell button for more notification and. Yeah, thanks for watching and as always, learn the culture, learn the future.